This is a story, a story about me coming to Norway. You see, officially, I came on business, storytelling business, storytelling conference business. But between you and me, I think it was deep down in my DNA this trip was determined, right there in the Norwegian eighth of my double helix. I'm a quarter Scandinavian on my father's side, part Swedish, part Norwegian. Like many Nordic people of the 19th century, my father's grandparents came to seek their fortunes in Canada, just like all my grandparents from their various European homelands. I'm typically North American, a product of these great human migrations and minglings, a cultural and genetic pastiche, aware of my roots, but disconnected from the familial source material by generations. It's this, the distance, but the sense of still connection, that makes the trip to Norway, or, in some sense, back to Norway, such an adventure. It brings on a feeling that could only be described as sympathetic resonance. Touch down in an ancestral homeland, and I swear, all the parts of me that match the place suddenly start to hum in the same key. You know, the key of Norwegianness. I begin to find clues, similarities, explanations for my fine hair or my great fondness for open-faced sandwiches. It sounds silly, I know. Simple preference alone could account for the feeling of perfect belonging I feel skiing in the Lillehammer Mountains or the way my body rejoices in a ritual sauna. But I like to think it's something more, something intrinsic in me, something that trumps my Canadian socialization and is written on me at the level of my cells or of my spirit, a connection that goes back through time and down to the very roots of my family tree.